Warning, the following video contains spontaneous reactions, comments, and constructive criticism. None of the prior should be taken personally. The purpose of this video is to share informed musical perspectives, because most critics can't. Listener discretion advised. Hey y'all, Ali here, we're on the record. This is Vincent Herring's new release, Preaching to the Choir, and this is Dudley's Dilemma, his first track on that release. Let's check it out. Yeah, swinging. Yeah. Feels good. This feels good. Swinging bridge two, playing two on the A section. Swing on the bridge. Got a break coming up. It's almost got a, like a double bridge. It's got like a bridge and like a little interlude section. Okay, Vincent sounds really good. He's telling a story. Even space, keeping the character of the, of the melody. Cyrus is comping really good. Nice theme, Cyrus is playing nice theme. Hmm. Okay, nice breakdown. Good, soulful, good breakdown. Just keeping a different direction. Uh huh. This is good. Now he built up his solo. He was playing good lines. Now he built it up. Big chords, riffing. Keeping it up. Jonathan is supporting it. Yasushi's just holding it down as normal for him, always holding it down. Chop wood with the with the tom, wood chopping, different vibe on the head out. Very expressive way of playing the melody. Nice. This solid. Listen, these are vets in the game. So the vibe and the feeling of the music. It's soulful and it feels good. Dudley, I want to meet Dudley. I wonder what this dilemma was about, but this is a soulful tune. Vincent uh, Herring obviously plays the melody beautifully. A lot of personality and expression. And what I'm actually most impressed about is that his solo was very melodic. It was like another melody, he played melodies on the solo. It wasn't a whole lot of notes and it was very thoughtful. And he developed it, brought it up to a certain point, didn't overplay, got in and got out. And then it was a nice contrast with the rhythm section with on Cyrus Chestnut solo on the piano. So, uh, I mean, overall, this was, this was very swinging and it felt good. How was the comping behind Cyrus different than the way it was in the beginning? Well, first off, they brought it down. So Vincent Herring, after he climaxed the solo, they brought the tune down to a lower dynamic, a starting place from intensity and busyness. And then Cyrus, he, he brought it down, so then he built his solo back up. And by the end of his last chorus of the solo, he brought it, got it really big. Simple melodies in the beginning for Cyrus, comping himself. Then he started to play more intricate lines, all theme-oriented, like rhythmic themes. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Some triplet themes in there. Then he built it up in his last chorus with, with big chords, dropping bombs. And Jonathan and Yasushi supporting him all the way back to the head out very clear straight ahead uh, and it felt good good solos good vibe well i personally i would have made different choices you could always play less so not that what he played was bad or at, at all just with drums anything you do is magnified because they're drums so they, they 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 just take up a lot of attention in anything that you do but overall it was good it was swinging and it felt good
Playing the hell out of the head. Mm. Okay, end of the phrase. Yep. Phrases and intention. This, this is they're playing together. He's really playing the heck out of the tune. He's bringing some of his personality and, and, and a lot of thought into what he's playing in the character of the tune. Very lyrical. Putting, he's putting a thing in the in his sound, and he's creating a vibe of of emotion with the way he's playing the melody, and he's playing the melody in in time with, with vibe and feeling. He's, he's capturing, he's singing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jonathan, that was a good feel. I like that feel. got control of his instrument. A lot of air in his sound. He's playing very light, light and full, like the, the, the juxtaposition of the two. And Cyrus is coloring very beautifully and tender in that in the upper register of the piano, like above him, but, but very sparse and sparkly. All right, now, Big Brother Vincent, go ahead, man. Man, that was a great rendition of Hello, uh, made famous, written by Lionel Richie, I believe, uh, and performed by him, popular tune. Uh, but this rendition is, is stellar. I mean, it's soulful, it felt good. You sang the heck out of the melody. Cyrus colored great, Yasushi normal, laying it down, and Jonathan, I mean, awesome. I mean, it's taste. I mean, I'm splitting hairs. I may have chose to do a couple of different things, but I mean, overall, the vibe of it, the collective vibe of the tune was an excellent rendition of the tune. That's what people should check out. Y'all played the heck out of the melody and used the melody throughout the tune. And that's what you can never have enough melody. Call and response. Always good. Some boogaloo. Mm -hmm. This is an example how to play on some changes. Blues oriented. And shredding and still telling the story. Great solo, Vince. Themes. Come back. Uh huh. Shouting. Cyrus is shouting. He's preaching to the choir right, right in this part. Uh huh. You tell him. Yeah. 
excellent timing. Yep. Sus, sus, sus. Man, preaching to the choir. They was definitely preaching to the choir. And it's call and response. So, you know, preaching to the choir, you know, you got the pastor or the reverend. And he's doing his sermon and he's like, oh, yes, uh-huh. Go ahead, tell him. Go ahead, tell him about it. That's, that's preaching to the choir. That's what this is. And they eloquently expressed that with the way that they play. I mean, Vincent Herring, I mean, he's a master. He plays appropriate to what the tune is. He had a lot to say. It was a lot of notes or words that he was uh, uh, sharing. And Cyrus was right there in, in support to it, riffing big chords in the meat of the piano. And this was a boogaloo type style of playing. Yasushi playing appropriately. And Cyrus on his solo, he built it up. You know, Cyrus has, you know, he's another master. The thing Cyrus does, he'll give you a tremolo up top and then play, you know, some other kind of harmony and take you on a, a voyage and bring the, the, the harmony and build it up. Awesome. So those are just some of the things that they were doing on that tune, but it served its purpose and the solos weren't, were like perfect length. They got into, said what they had to say, and they got out. There you go, preaching to the choir. I recommend this one for sure. Yeah, thanks for watching On The Record. I'll check you on the next record.